I try not to think about it. I pretty much just open the video, press play, don't even like take a second to motivate myself because I just have to do it because she's doing it, so I have to do it too. <laughs> One month ago, I set out to complete Emmy Wong's ultimate plank workout challenge for 30 frickin' days. There was sweat, there was tears, no blood, thank God. Was it fun? Absolutely not. Was it worth it? You'll find out. Welcome back to the channel. I kind of feel weird every time I say that, but I'm just really grateful to have you here. Shush up. <laughs> I am really excited today because I wanted to talk to you about, ooh, baby, what I've been doing for the past month. And no, it's not vacationing, going somewhere tropical, warm, getting outside even. Nope, none of that. Rather, I've been doing a ab workout for the last month. Is that exciting to anybody? Probably not. But for me, it's the only eventful information I have to share with you in my life at the moment. I decided about a month ago I needed to start adding in some ab exercises to my workout routine. If I'm being quite honest with you, I never really do on a regular basis for no reason other than I'm just lazy. And I came across the beautiful, the one and only, Emmy Wong. Now, Emmy has this infamous plank workout that I basically have been doing every single day for the past month. 30 days straight, I've been doing this plank workout. I've been trying to see my before and after results. She claims that I should be getting some sort of flat stomach, a smaller waist, all of the beautiful things that just come along with doing an ab workout for 30 days. I might as well see how much I can progress in 30 days time, and then we'll just see my before and after. We'll see how good or maybe not good I look after 30 days. Okay, don't know exactly what's going on with my hair, but I just finished day one of the plank workout, which is so darn exciting. I feel like I um, was not expecting to be that challenged. It was such a good, just like 10 minutes of kicking my darn butt. The video itself was great. I thought it was really easy to follow. I'm excited to see how much I can progress in 30 days time. I feel like I was really struggling to get through it, but you know what? As long as we're having fun, it doesn't matter. Am I right? <laughs> I think it's day three of me doing my planks. The way the video was laid out was 10 different exercises that were each 45 seconds long and they were separated by 15 second breaks. Honestly, I came to love and appreciate and cherish those 15 second breaks, but nonetheless, every single darn time, my ass was still whooped. Sometimes I almost wonder if I became too reliant on the breaks, but at the same time, I also needed them so darn badly. I did appreciate how the workout included a lot of different variations of planks I had never done before, like a single arm plank or a single leg plank. Like who even knew that was a different variation? But gosh, did it hurt? That felt harder today. <laughs> Why? Ha! I look disgusting, but I'm procrastinating because I don't. It almost didn't seem to matter how much I did the workout or even how much I progressed. Every single time I did it, I was still challenged, which I guess just goes to show how good the workout is and how much you probably will just get your butt whooped. I just love saying that, butt whooped. You're gonna get your butt whooped the more and more times you do it. I also think because the exercises were 45 seconds each, every single time it felt like an entire eternity would pass before the timer would stop. But this did help me a lot more when I would come to different exercise videos that had 30 second timers because I was like heck yeah i'm conditioned for this ish i'm just about to do my plank workout for the evening it is about 11 o'clock but that's not stopping anybody i just finished a yoga with adrian workout that was kind of my workout for the day so i have like all of these pillows and whatnot like set up behind me because we ended in this peaceful restorative shavasana look at me i'm such a yogi i'm such a yogi and i literally pulled out this candle let me just tell you about my freaking candle for a moment. If you don't already know this, I am absolutely in love with Casey Musgraves. Her album, Golden Hour, literally saved me. It is one of my favorite albums of all time. This is a slow burn candle and it is the greatest thing of my entire life. Like it cost me kind of an arm and a leg and a few toes, but I love it so much. It was just like this weird little like, here I am like turning on my salt lamp and like burning my candle. I'm doing Shavasana kind of moment. like. Who am I? Don't know, but time to do a plank workout, baby. Before you ask, that rant was completely necessary. Now, in regards to the exercises, I did notice that they tended to be a lot harder at the end of the video, like commandos and plank taps, which are my least favorites. So pushing through them was always the hardest. Tired, but feeling good. 
Whew. And some days I just felt weaker than others. So getting through the whole video was just never 100% easy peasy lemon squeezy. She doesn't try and hide the fact that she's also just as tired as I am. I don't really know what's going on because I do challenges quite often on this channel. I think you all know that by now. And most of the time, you kind of go through like steps when you're doing these challenges. You know, you first start out, you kind of have a lot of adrenaline, it's fun, you're invested. That's phenomenal phase one. Then you go into phase two, when you're kind of getting to the groove of things, but then you realize the workouts are really darn hard. And you're like, oh my golly gosh, I am pushing my butt to its fullest limits. And then by phase three, you're pretty close to the end by now. You've pretty much mastered the workout. You've become stronger, maybe you've lost weight. These are my three phases. And I don't feel like I'm reaching those phases with this challenge. The challenge is just as hard for me from day one as it is to day 30. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Or maybe I'm doing something right because it's a good workout. I don't know, but my butt, whooped you love talking to the camera huh i swear i've said this since the day we got her she loves the camera so much like i turn the camera on reese is here she's front and center she wants to be the star of the show it's hilarious i also just got the coolest thing ever i don't think i've opened it yet but i got this portrait of reese made from this one company called crown and paw and they do these like funny portraits of your dog as different characters like as an astronaut, as a farmer, as a renaissance character. Like it's so darn funny. And I was like, you know what? I kinda wanna get one for Reese. So I did. And I thought it would be really funny if I reacted to it on camera because they have a lot of funny reactions to people opening up their packages. It's here, baby. You wanna see? You wanna see what you look like? I hope it's adorable. I'm sure it will be. Okay, you ready, Reese? You ready? You ready to see? I'm so nervous, but like excited. astronaut because I just kind of thought this was like the funniest option literally down to the eyeballs like that is her exact eye color she has this white spot on her little goatee which I think is the coolest thing ever you're an astronaut you're saving people that's one of the funniest things I've ever seen I have to figure out where I want to put this I'm assuming I'm gonna put it in my office how could I not get work done when this is staring at me motivating me like no other <laughs> isn't that amazing that's amazing. They're a legend. Isn't that? Pictures? Yeah, I'll send you a few pictures. I just wanted to show you. I think oh. it's so funny. Oh, God, that's awesome. <laughs> I love that. I know. I know. That's so funny. I want to buy like 18 more. I want to make them huge. I want to have like murals of Reese as an astronaut throughout my whole house. Oh, my gosh. If you've ever like been into like weird, dorky kind of humor like this, I highly recommend you check out this website. It's called Crown and Paw. It's so darn funny and this I mean like literally this just this just changed my entire mood Okay, back to my regularly scheduled programming. That was just too much fun to not share overall after doing the one workout for an entire month I definitely feel a lot more toned I felt like it was a good disciplinary practice So I made it a habit to get it done within my workout schedule. I am still doing 75 hard I'm actually on day 50 as of today Woohoo! So basically I was doing the 10 minute ab workout in addition to the other workouts I have to do for 75 hard, but I definitely think my stamina improved overall. In the beginning, it was like, oh my gosh, how am I going to do plank workouts for 10 minutes straight? That sounds terrible. But by the end of it, I was feeling a lot more confident. But if I'm being quite honest, it never truly got easy. Like it was never like one of those things that was breezing through. I definitely think one thing that is extremely important to mention is that ab definition comes as a result of doing compound movements, having an overall healthy diet, and just a low body fat percentage in general to showcase the abs. We all have abs, but to show them on your body, 
but I definitely feel like this was an amazing way to strengthen my core. It was a workout I had to do every single day. And I do think it really did pay off. I think it's kind of hard to judge whether or not it was solely because of the ab workouts. I would say probably not. It's because I have been dieting. It's because I have been doing more exercise. I would say that this is a really great practice. I feel like planks are that one exercise that are kind of foolproof. Like they're going to be one of the most essential ab exercises that you can do that you can throw into your routine and you are going to see some really great results. I love trying out Emmy's videos. I think she is so fun and supportive. She literally does the entire plank workout with her dog and her significant other sitting right next to her. Like how could you be any happier? And like they're both cheering her on the whole time. So it kind of felt like there was this cute little moment of like both of our dogs were cheering us on. Emmy and I are doing the workout together, having the best time, or also just me kind of dying next to her. Like it was really fun. I definitely would recommend this video. I'd recommend trying this out for even just a week and seeing how you feel or how much you progress. But it's gonna make your core really strong. It's gonna make you really strong. It's going to help you in other exercises or areas of your life. And honestly, it's just gonna make you feel good. If you liked seeing this type of workout, let me know if you have like another one video that I should try for an entire month straight. I kind of feel like it's neat to do something like that just to see if you focus in on one exercise, one routine, what will your results look like? And you know, I always have a great time doing it. As always, please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It really does help me out so much and it means the absolute world to me that we're almost at 50 thousand subscribers. 50,000 subscribers. I can't even imagine 50,000 people wanting to hear me talk, wanting to watch me. Like that's so, that's so nice. Thank you so much. I cannot express how grateful I am to have this little tiny platform, this little tiny community of friends that I do have with you all. It's just the absolute best thing in the world and I have a really hard time like describing it because I get kind of emotional even when I'm talking about it because it means so much to me. But I love you all so much. Thank you for even wanting to take the time to watch my videos. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>